Hello beautiful people and welcome! Today I'm going to share with you how I go from this to this, showing you my everyday spring makeup look. I have to change the way that I do my makeup from winter to spring, and I even have to change the products that I use. I know it might sound a little extra, but hear me out. One, in the springtime, I'm outside more, and not only am I wanting my makeup to really focus on protecting me from the sun, but I also want to keep it light and airy because nobody wants to be outside with a ton of makeup on. The second is that I have allergies. My eyes and my nose are a lot more sensitive, and so I have to tailor a makeup routine that will help minimize my irritation, even if I'm taking medication. And I don't even know if I can take any allergy medicine now that I'm pregnant. I have to look into that. Anyway, I found a way to help minimize that irritation during allergy season when it comes to how I apply my makeup, but also give me confidence that if I have an allergy fit, which is bound to happen, I won't be freaking out because my eyes are watering, my nose is running, my makeup is a mess. If you know, you know, this is what I do. And here I thought I was moving away from my allergies when I moved from North Carolina to California. I was wrong. Before we jump right in, I just wanted to remind you, if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. It really helps me out and also makes it possible for me to continue making videos like this for you. Let's start with skincare because you already know that's the most important part. I'm changing up my skincare a little bit. It's good to keep it fresh. It's really good to change up your products every now and then because you don't want your skin to get used to a particular product because it does change the effectiveness of how it works. These are some new products that I've been using for my skin especially to help me during the spring. The Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This stuff is really nice and lightweight and a great moisturizer to put underneath makeup. I go back and forth using Kiehl's now and then. Sometimes I'll buy their products and then I'll finish them and then I'll like be on to something else. I always come back because I really like their formulas. Next, I'm gonna apply an eye cream. When it comes to spring season, I have to apply a thicker based eye cream because my eyes are more irritated, more puffy. I use the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This is what I usually travel with because my eyes get really puffy when I travel. I just use a little bit of this as needed because again, those eyes get just a little bit more puffy than usual. And this eye cream is stunning. If you haven't tried it already, this is one thing you have to try because it's so, so nice. If you have really oily skin, I wouldn't recommend it, but if your combination to dry, absolutely. It feels like you just came out of a facial. Final part of skincare is the sunscreen. I am actually trying this sunscreen out for the first time. This is the Dime Wonder Screen. It's the tinted broad spectrum SPF, 30 SPF. I've heard so much about this from so many friends. I really wanna know what all the hype is about. Ooh, that's nice. That is really nice. I can tell it's a high quality of zinc. Zinc oxide, 19%. Wow, this has a really nice finish, guys. I think I found my new tinted sunscreen for the year. We're protected from the sun now. Let's start with the brows. Unfortunately, this routine had to change for me because I am no longer using Anastasia Brow Wiz ever again. That might sound dramatic, but I'm scorned. Remember where I was telling you guys in other videos that I was losing eyebrow hairs? You guys really came through in the comment section for me to help me figure it out, so thank you so much. I had tested out my eyebrow wiz and it was faulty. And the reason why I say I'm not gonna use Anastasia anymore at this point is because this is the second time I've received a faulty brow whiz from them. The first time that I bought their brow whiz, it came completely empty. Like there was no pencil in the brow whiz. I was able to exchange it, get a new one because I thought, oh, it's probably just a fluke. No, the second brow whiz that I bought was also faulty. I didn't realize it until all this time. It was almost like, you know when a pen is running out of ink and it's like, sometimes it will write and then it won't? That's what this pencil was doing, but there's no really way to sharpen it. I tried breaking it off. The pencil itself did not have enough juice, pigment. I don't even know how to describe that. So when I would do my eyebrows and I was thinking I was putting on makeup and I was like, oh, this is really light. Yeah, it was real light because there wasn't anything coming out of it. I was ending up scratching out my real eyebrow hairs because I was trying to apply the actual makeup and I didn't realize it. It's been almost two weeks since I stopped using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and now my eyebrows are back here bring you closer. They're almost fully back. I don't have those really huge spots anymore. I'm done with Anastasia Brow Wiz for now, but this gives me an excellent time to experiment with new brow pencils and brow things because I usually stick really close to the Anastasia brand. They've broken my heart. How could they do this to me? So now I'm using the Make Blade line. It's in the color soft black. Usually I like to go for ash brown, but this color actually doesn't look too bad. I like how it's on an angle, a little bit different than what I'm used to with the Anastasia. I'm just lightly filling in my brows with kind of an upward motion. Working with the angle is a little bit more um, challenging to me, but it also looks really nice. Love doing my eyebrows before all the rest of my makeup. That technique I learned in a previous video 
video it helps the eyebrows to really stay in place I don't want to go too heavy we're focusing on a light look especially because the rest of the makeup is gonna be pretty light I'm gonna finish it off with the Sigma tint and tame brow gel to help really push them up and make sure they stay in place all day long now I don't have to be afraid of brow gel anymore my absolute favorite concealer at the moment for everyday use is the say e hydra beam concealer it's amazing for a couple reasons it's super light but it has really good coverage and it's very moisturizing which is different from most concealers that I've ever tried Make sure I get it up here I could bathe in this stuff because it's so light and nice I'm gonna take a flat shader and I'm gonna go ahead and blend and kind of define those brows with that concealer. And it blends out so nicely too. That's what I also love about this concealer. And you don't have to use a lot. Now we're gonna take the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki Brush. And this is the F79 brush. And we're gonna go ahead and work the rest of the concealer out into the face. This is such a stellar brush. It does so beautifully. Such a good blend. Now I'm gonna add foundation. Now this is absolutely optional, but I really like this foundation. I love an extra layer of protection for my skin. Not all the time, but I. I just I feel like it's right right now. This is the Say E Glowy Super Skin Foundation in the color 18. This is very liquidy. So it's more of just like I feel like a glaze. Not so much a foundation because it's super light just like the rest of their makeup. Almost like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Some extra umph for the skin. And also bring back a little bit of my color because I've lost it this winter. I'm using the Sephora 64 brush to kind of blend that in the skin. I'm gonna go over with a damp beauty blender because I do find when you're dealing with more dewy foundations or more lightweight type of makeup, you need to be able to really work it into the skin. I have not been able to let this go yet, guys. This milk bronzer is rocking my world still. I can't stop. It's just so amazing. I love how light it is. I love how it applies and I love how it blends. It blends so well with a beauty blender so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. It doesn't even feel cakey. It feels just so light and that's what I love about it. Now we're moving on to blush and I'm gonna use the Merit Beverly Hills blush. This has been a favorite of mine for a long time and I always like forget about it and like stop using it and then I go back to it again. It's just a really solid cream blush. It's it's beautiful. This coloring is gorgeous too. The best thing about it is that it actually stays on your face. I found that the problem with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk blushes is it doesn't hold the color. Like the pigment doesn't stay on your skin. So I put a couple little passes. I really in the springtime like to enhance the fact that we ha we're allergy prone and go ahead and cover the nose and cheek area to make it like rosy and blushy. I'm gonna take the Sigma brush in F53 and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out just a bit. I love how it also gives you a really nice dewy look as well. I need to stop this programming so I can put on some lipstick or lip gloss because my lips are dry right now. I'm gonna try out this new lip plumping gloss from Siete. I was supposed to put that on with skincare, but I forgot. Look at how cute the bottle is though. Like look at how cute that is. Mm, that's tingly. I love in the spring that you can go for very dewy looks and just glow in the sun. I'm gonna use this new Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer. I'm only gonna use a little bit of it. I like how it has a pump so you can really control the amount that you're using. I'm just gonna take my fingers and just kind of apply it to the apples of my cheeks because I really like the shimmer that it gives. It's not too much, it's just enough. It smells really good, which is surprising to me because I've never smelled a highlighter that smelled really good. Yay for Giorgio Armani. I'm gonna blend that out with that same Sigma F53 brush. And just look at that. I love it. Now for eyeshadow, we're going to go ahead and apply the Sigma eyeshadow base primer. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm just gonna do a little bit and then blend the rest out with my hands. It really just helps brighten the eyes. I love a bright eye look for spring. On top of that, we're gonna take the Sayete, I think I'm saying that right. I think I'm saying it probably really wrong. This brand. They have a really cool palette that I've used before. It's the chocolate palette that they have. I'm gonna use this color right here. This brush that I'm using is the E25 Blending Brush from Sigma. Yes, for light and shimmery eyes for spring. I'm gonna take the excess of that and just work it up to the eyebrow area because I really like that shimmer. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes to get ready for mascara because that's all that I'm gonna do for the eye makeup look. Now we're gonna apply mascara and I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. It's a classic mascara that has always done me right. I love it for especially these types of looks because I'm not afraid of it running off my face. I've had times when I've fried with this stuff on and things stay in place. And I'm gonna go a little bit heavier than I usually do on my top. I'm not applying mascara to my bottom. This is my trick to 
keeping the makeup minimally irritating and to save me if I have some kind of allergy fit. It's not going to mess up my entire face. It can kind of just like come out here and be okay. Just really get those girls up there. And if you wanted to do a little extra and you were in for it, I would totally apply some falsies on top. And that's the eye makeup look. We're keeping this super fresh and light. I love it. Now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the color 300. I'm gonna set everything. I do find that when I'm outside a lot more and exposed to the elements, I need to keep my makeup in place. I'm in a lip gloss kind of mood right now, which is unusual for me. I really have been loving lip glosses, especially for the spring. I'm gonna use the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the color, I almost said the color vegan of my brain. This is vanilla beige, has a little tint of a color. Pretty. Last but definitely not least, I'm gonna use a setting spray. This is Sayete Everyday Vacay Setting Spray. It's made with coconut water. I haven't tried this before, but I'm really excited to try it because I wanted something a little bit more fresher for spring. Shall we? Oh my gosh, that's delectable though. <laughs> That smells so good. I could like drink that. That's that's amazing. I thought it would feel more sticky, but it actually feels really good. Dewy coconut setting mist. Feels great. So there you have it. My everyday spring makeup look. What do you think? I love this look. I feel confident that I'm protected from the sun. I feel light and airy. I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on my face. I feel like I can do any kind of activity outside. And I also am not scared of having to redo my makeup because if I have an allergy fit, my makeup's ruined. I'm so excited to have been able to share this with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know in the comment section what you think. And also, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And of course, again, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so that you don't miss another one of these videos. Thank you again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!